Welcome final expense agents and brokers to the most popular audio training and podcast in the industry, The Lead Jerk Show, where we cut through the red tape and give you only the best in expert interviews. So strap in and grab a cold beverage and get ready to learn and earn. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to the one and only Matt Lowry, also known as The Lead Jerk. Alrighty, so today we've got Agent Don. He's an agent located in Michigan, and he's going to talk a little bit about um, his successes he's had in the past, kind of how he got into final expense, and um, what he's running with now on Tele Leads and so forth, and gives his uh, recommendation on a few things that uh, he likes. So sit back and listen. Uh, Don's a great guy, and hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, everybody. Matt Lowry, Lead Jerk. We've got a um, gentleman with us today who um, is going to give us a little bit of information about what he's done in the past as far as leads go, kind of how he got into the insurance business and final expense. And um, his name's Don, and I believe he is out of, uh, let's see, you are from Michigan, correct, Don? Up here in Michigan, greater Detroit area. Okay, all right, excellent. So I guess maybe if we could just start off by you know, finding out a little bit about how you first got started in insurance or final expense and, uh, you know, bring us up to date to kind of where, where you're at now, today. Okay, fantastic. Well, I've been in the insurance business since about 2007, and uh, the, the way that I got involved in the insurance industry was uh, I was actually a mortgage professional, and uh, back about that time, uh, as you may or may not be aware of the mortgage industry, uh, was flying real high in the uh, uh, business of doing uh, subprime lending, and uh, so I was right. involved in that. Uh-huh. And then the uh, that whole subprime industry, you know, kind of took a dump. Yep. And I just happened to run, run into somebody who was involved in the insurance business. They said, hey, you ought to get your insurance license. So I did, and uh, started out back in 2007. First, I was running with Aflac just for a little bit, and... Um, then I start. I discovered the world of uh, IMOs and uh, the opportunity that was there for you know growth and higher commissions and whatnot. So I've been in the insurance industry since about 2007, and actually uh, just kind of in and out of uh, final expense along the way. I was running. I started out running mortgage protection, and then somewhere along the way, that particular IMO introduced final expense opportunity and. I was kind of doing them both together, and uh, then just at different times, uh, funny enough, you know, I just, and then I got back out of that and just went and did uh, straight mortgage protection, and then I mixed them again, and then actually got into just running final expense, and, and then jumped back into mortgage protection with it, and uh, of late up here in the uh, southeast Michigan area, the, uh, the mortgage protection industry has really kind of died off again and uh, you know the interest in it's just not that great so it, once again you know I just switched over to something else I knew would work and uh, have been working final expense strictly for uh, I probably as long as I've been working with you Matt how long back that goes <laughs> right right obviously yeah I'd probably I'm not even sure Don maybe maybe a year I don't know I don't know how long it's been um, I, you know with, hey, let me ask you something about mortgage protection. Were you running direct mail primarily or tele leads too? Or? Uh, just uh, direct mail direct for mail. mortgage protection. Okay. Yeah, it's really, it's really a different kind of beast that mm-hmm. doesn't really lend itself to, uh, you know, telephone uh, leads or, you know, kind of how we generate here at Leadjerk. Right. The final expense leads. It, it, it works a whole lot better off the mailers. Okay. Yeah, it's, it is a different market, I guess, different incomes, and most of the people are probably younger and working, you know. <laughs> oh, it's a completely different customer, different beast all the way around. Gotcha, okay. So so that brings us up to date now where you're you're basically hardcore back into doing the final expense. What what um what lead uh, options have you used, you know, since you've been back in the, the final expense business heavy, Don? Uh, well, when, I, when I when I went back into final expense full time, I kind of first started out, you know, running direct mailers again. And actually, uh, within my agency, 
uh, I had an agent there who um, actually ran across your company uh, back when they were called uh, uh, Plus One Leads or Dial One Leads. Uh-huh. And, and uh, that individual was doing really, really good with them. Uh, his closing percentage was high, and, and he was just loving the reception he was getting. And um, that's actually how I got involved with you. And uh, so I switched over to uh, to those leads that you did where, you know, where the customer had to dial one. Right. And uh, just the, the experience that I had with it, uh, as long as, you know, you get on the lead right away when you get it. Right. Uh, final defense leads, you know, they don't age as fast as a mortgage protection lead, but even still, the, the sooner you get on the lead, the better. And, um, you know, it, it was true to what this other person had told me. And uh, so, you know, ever since I've been working with you, again, I don't know how long I've been, but um, then I've just been, you know, working off uh, both your uh, your plus one leads and then your avatar leads I've been running for a while. And, uh, you know, I get pretty much kind of like the, the same result from each. But, right. Um, ever, since the, ever since I came out with you, I just, that's, I've been strictly running those. One of the other things I like about those is, you know, I, they're kind of like leads on demand, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the turnaround time is a lot faster than the mailers. So I really like that aspect of it as well. As far as uh, the information <clears throat> you get um, when I, when I, you know, have the leads uh, sent back to you. It, what do you think about that as far as how the spreadsheet is? You know, you get the name, phone number, the address, the full recording. How, how does that work for you? It, well, it works really good. Um, the the ones, you know, where, where the customer had to, uh, I don't remember if you used that they have to dial one or dial three and leave their yeah, information. Yeah, they just leave their info, they're, yeah. They're the, uh, the recording doesn't really, you know, do a whole lot for you. Right. Because it's just not leaving their name and number, you know. But uh, but if you call that lead right away, again, those persons, those people have just got off the telephone, uh, not, you know, maybe the prior day. Right. And uh, so there's not really, you know, a whole lot of information that you have ahead of time when you're calling the person. But, again, if you're calling them right away, you know, most of the time they remember, you know, calling. And then it's really up to you, you know, as far as, you know, your ability to set appointments and how much you practice on that, how diligent you are. And, you know, if you call the person a couple times and you don't, uh, you don't get an answer and then you just throw that lead aside, that, that's a big mistake, you know. So yeah. it's just, you really have to be persistent. Now, the avatar leads, uh, I really enjoy having the recording of the uh, the whole phone call on the avatar leads. Right. Because you, it's just the, the tonality of their voice, the way they answer the question, and then it really helps when you set up the password, having their, you know, their favorite hobby. Right. When they give one, and even when they don't give a favorite hobby, if you just mention that, you know, whether it was Joanne or Allie on the Avatar League, if right. you just mentioned, well, you remember that person asked you your favorite hobby, but you didn't have one at the time, that actually works just as well as when they have a hobby. Yep. Because how many times does someone call you on the phone and talk to you about your favorite hobby? Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Not um, not ever for me. Well, really, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really matter if they leave a hobby or not, the very fact that one was asked for so I find that the recording there really helps a lot because that person may reveal things as they're talking to the avatar. Like, you know, one of them is, well, I already have insurance. Okay, so, you know, for the people that get turned off by that, again, that's a big mistake because, number one, it tells you they believe in life insurance. Right. Number two, it tells you they're of the mind to buy life insurance. Yep. And anybody anybody in life insurance knows last man in wins. That's right. Okay. So so then you become a you know kind of like a mortgage protect or not mortgage but a final expense uh, consultant where then you tell them on the phone you know about some of the other programs that are out there like um, what is it with the AARP and you tell yep. them well, if you have that it goes up every five years and then it ends at eighty. Or the, the other television one that they do, you know, that, those that end at 90. Yeah, Colonial so again, PN and all those, so yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can get so much out of the recording, uh, it, and if you're not paying attention, you're really missing the boat. But if you listen to the whole recording of the Avatar lead, you, you really get a lot more uh, information as well as, you know, how serious they are about it. It just tells you how to go in, yep. you know, in attacking that lead. So yeah, I find it gives... Uh, 
it gives the agents a, a little bit more of an angle, <clears throat> at least for me as well. Um, right. My wife sets my appointment, so she likes the fact that, you know, um, it, it can give her a little bit more of an angle to know how to approach it before she even gets them on the phone. Um, I mean, 9 yeah. out of 10 uh-huh. is the same script every time, but then there's, all, you know, like you said, there's those few that say something and you got to approach it a little different. And kind of goes back right. to this, this argument about, you know, the, the direct mail versus a, you know, it says life insurance versus a direct, generic mailer. I mean, the longer I'm in this, I, you know, I run, uh, you know, my tail leads and I have the life insurance mailers too, but, I, you know, the longer I do this, the more I'm I'm coming to realize that I I think as you get experience, it really doesn't matter what it says. Um, it's, it's getting some interest at all and then getting in front of people, uh, that you're gonna have a chance to have a conversation with. Bottom line, that's just what it what it's boiled down, <clears throat> at least for me. But obviously yeah, the, uh-huh. the type of lead and how you're moving through it and what as much information as it can give you is also helpful too. So right. um well how do you feel about as far as what we've done on our end to, to you know you know, our end of the deal when you put in an order and so forth or or, you know, I know there's been a, an occasion where the leads kind of slowed down a lot for everybody. Um, I can't remember when it was, but it was a couple of months ago. And I try to, you know, when that happens, I try to jump on it and try to get some stuff, you know, it, you know, within the parameters of what you've ordered so that you're not left hanging. Um, how, how have we done on that? How, we, how, how are we doing on our job of making sure we're taking care of our customers? Fantastic. And before I get on that, there's one other thing I want to touch on, just mm-hmm. on the, uh, because you were talking on a different topic about leads. you got to remember that any kind of lead, a lead is permission to contact somebody. Yep. That's all it is, okay? And then if you make an appointment, an appointment is permission to come to their house really any time of day, as long as when you go there, you identify yourself. Yeah. And they have set an appointment, okay? One of the things that I think that, final expense insurance agents need to pay attention to is to listen to those avatar leads and you know I've let my wife listen to a couple of them and she really chuckled because even when the customer gets to be a little bit of resistance in there because it's an avatar you know Joanne she doesn't care and she doesn't give up he's right on marching through and you'll find when you listen to that that when they start out bucking the system yep. and Joanne, because it's Avatar, Joanne don't care. She just keeps going and stays on track and before you know it, that, that client or that prospect's brought into the fold to be in a lead. So that's, true. that's something really that can be learned, especially from new people, is you know really listening to the persistence and, and what I have always taught people is when someone gives up an, an objection, you just ignore it. Yeah. And you keep on going. And and on the avatar leads, that's just a perfect example. It's like, I don't care what your response is or what you're saying. I'm going to keep going on my script. And whenever you let, you know, whenever you default to the customer system, you lose. But if you keep the customer on your system, you win. So I, that's another thing I just wanted to point out about the avatar leads. And there's just a lot to be learned by the agent if they really pay attention. Now, I mean, as far as lead jerk, you guys have been fantastic. Um, it, when you make an order, the, you know, the leads show up quickly. Your pricing is very fair. Uh, you know, whenever there has been, like if I've ordered some avatar leads and, you know, they've been coming really slow, you know, I'll tell people that you've thrown me a bone uh, here and there and yep. said, well, here's some free leads from the other type of lead and you can get to working on those while you're waiting yep. for the order. And, you know, I just the, and I've told you in the emails quite a few times, Matt, your customer service is fabulous. Uh, you're committed to delivering what you say. Uh, you tend to uh, under-promise and over-deliver, you know. Um, it, it's just, uh, it's been a fantastic relationship. I love working with you. I know that you're always going to take care of me one way or another. And when leads come up short on one end, you know, you've always, you're, you're always concerned about keeping me working. Yep. And I can't tell you what a great asset that is because when you're out of leads, you're out of business. That's true. And whenever, whenever you know, I've made an order with you, and on that particular order, just because you know it kind of it goes in ties that it's either a whole bunch or there's nothing there. Right. You've always made sure that you've gotten me something else to make up for it, 
for a discount or some free leads or something. And I really appreciate how you realize that when I'm out of leads, I'm out of business. And when I'm out of business, I don't have money to buy any more leads from you. Right, it's true. So it's yeah. Kind of a give and take kind of thing. And, you know, not only are you helping me out, but, I mean, you're, you're actually helping yourself out when you do that because a few free leads here turns into money that buys a bunch more orders for you later on. So, I just, I mean, I have had nothing but a great relationship with you. I love working with you. Uh, I love working with Lead Jerk. Um, the leads are awesome. And, uh, you know, you're just always looking out for me and making sure I'm taken care of, and I really do appreciate that. Well, I, I appreciate you, Don. I, you know, and, it, and this goes for even if somebody, whether they're a veteran like you or a newbie, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where, look, I, I'm an agent too, you know, and I know that if I have low lead flow or slow lead flow, and look, I see, I look at every order, you know, when it comes in, I'm <clears throat> I'm monitoring that order through the process, you know, and I'll get I'll get emails sometimes, hey, do I have, you know, some coming this week, and I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, obviously you do, you know, and it's kind of like I'm monitoring every single order as it comes in. I know exactly how many has been delivered on what date, you know. And I, if I see a gap there, then I take measures to fill that gap. And nine times out of ten, <clears throat> I'll fill that gap on my own dime. Now, it doesn't happen very often. But like I said, <clears throat> when it does, it usually doesn't affect one or two agents. It might affect three or four. It's only happened right. a couple of times, thank thank goodness, uh-huh. over the last couple of years. But yeah, I know that when when that happens, you know, something's gotta something's gotta give and it's, you know, my responsibility, um, to people that put their, you know, lead generation faith, I guess you could say, in, in, in me and my company to make sure that I follow through. You know, I've dealt with other lead companies time and time again. I mean, you can't even get some of these guys on the phone, much less to answer, right. much less answer an right. email. You know, everything's completely automated. You, you know, you don't you don't know who to call for what. And to me, that was a big uh, frustration. And I decided when I was going to start this, I wasn't going to be that way. And you know, obviously, this was you know started out of necessity uh, for myself to be able to get leads. But it's you know, I'm I'm glad I've, there's a lot of um, a lot of guys out there, and I'm glad that I've been able to you know help 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 a lot of guys. Also, you know, not trying to to gouge people, um, like you said on on the pricing, and you know, I try to run as many specials as as possible without you know on, when I email people, not to make it look like you know I'm, I'm <laughs> constantly marketing to them. That's why you know also I do the interviews and and have stuff like this out there to kind of help you know other agents so I don't want to just you know when I've when I've done an interview I want to I try to give a little bit more value and 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 say hey by the way you know you know you know how it works go to my site and list these things and while you're there hey check out the leads too because they're available so I try to do all that too to to help guys because there's a lot of guys out there that you know aren't like us and probably haven't had the benefit of uh, some good training or whatever and and they it may do them good to hear, you know, hear hear how somebody successful actually gets out there and gets it done. So, yeah. Well, one of the things that I tell you that has been real important for me and, and what has caused me really to stay with Lead Jerk is that I've dealt with other lead companies where you know, it, like when you call, they don't know who you are, or they don't answer, they don't respond right away, or. Or they say, oh, yeah, you know, and then go start working on your order again or whatever. I mean, when I email you, it's like, you know, within minutes, I've got an answer. Yep. Or, you know, if ever I have a problem, you're on it. Uh, if I just out of the blue send you an email and say, how's my order going? You know, within minutes, you respond back. And you always know who I am. You always know what my order is. You always know what the issues with it are. And you're always there to make up for slow times and keep things going. But, you know, I, I never have to wonder, well, I wonder if Matt Lowry's going to remember who I am. Yeah. And it's just the, the, yeah, the customer response, and, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how many customers you deal with on a, on a monthly basis, but it's just incredible how you're always there and you're right on it and you know who I am and you know what's going on in my order. And, that, I mean, that is just, that's worth millions to me that, you know, that I'm working with somebody who, and again, you said you used to be an agent yourself. I'm working yeah. with somebody who knows my plight, 
who knows I've got to stay in the field and knows that I've got to make money, and you're just right there all the time making sure you're doing everything you can on your end to, to help make that happen. So like, that's probably one of the major reasons that I've stayed with you, is, again, just the customer service end. And the fact that you're in tune with me and you know what's going on in my life. Well, life yeah, and, and speaking of that as being an agent, you know, I, you know, I'm in the field every week. And, like, just this past week, I had to go to South Carolina because, you know, I'm based in Georgia. And, you know, Georgia's kind of a tough market no matter what, yeah. right? So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'll have leads generated there, and I was there all week. But you know what? I've got everything with me. If I have to go out of town, you know, I'm mobile. I know what's going on. If I'm in the field and I get an email, I get it on my iPhone. I know where everybody's leads are setting at that time. I I, I have, you know, um, notes on my phone, so I know exactly how many's come in, when, and everything. I can monitor my system. I can monitor my marketers, and that's another way. You know, if I'm if I'm about the only time you won't get an email right away back from me or a phone call is if I'm in an appointment. But as soon as I'm out back in the car, I'm emailing somebody back or doing whatever. I mean, it it, it, it gets crazy sometimes, but that's the way I like it. So that that means I'm doing, uh, doing never my part. I felt like you were too busy for me. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I definitely get back to people. So, um, so we're great, Don. Well, look, <clears throat> I appreciate your time today. It's uh, we're at about two thirty now, and. Uh, lazy uh, Sunday afternoon, so I imagine you got some things planned. You probably want to get some rest because I, I would imagine you're probably going to be in the field what tomorrow or Tuesday, and then we got. I guess I I don't know. We got the rest of this this week, and then I don't know if you're working next week, but I'm going to work uh, this coming week, and then I'm probably going to take next week off. So, <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, until the yeah. first of the year, because it's probably really going to die down around that time. So, but well, yeah, it's between Christmas and New Year. Yeah. I mean, if if I've got leads, you know, I'll go and try and work them. You know, if I'm not doing anything else, um, you know, if there's money to be made, that that's just my attitude. That you know, rather than just sitting around and fumbling my thumb as well, and, you know, there's nothing going on to do with anything else. I'm also going to try and make some money. Right. But during that time, you do get a lot of you know, contact me after the first of the year. Like you know, there's some big thing that's going to happen in their life, and and now they're going to be able to afford insurance. And I always come back and tell them. You know, well, okay, I'll wait till after the first of the year. You know, of course, try to remember we get our new rate sheet. You know, yeah, January yeah. 1st. that's right. So, you know, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I see your Don't order, your uh, <laughs> your last order sitting here. I'm hopefully I'm gonna have that one completed. Uh, maybe by the end of Monday, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, but it'll it'll be completed pretty early this week. I'm I'm looking at it, so that's uh, okay. I'm going to tell you that. So. Yep. Appreciate it. All righty. Well, look, Don, I appreciate your time and. Um, yeah, get some rest today, and I guess we'll prepare for battle for this last hard week of uh, of the year. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, well, it's great. It's always great to talk to Matt and deal with you. You have a, uh, a Merry Christmas, you and your family, and a, and a very blessed New Year. You, you too, Don. I appreciate your time, buddy. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Well, there you have it. Another great interview, and... Uh, Don's a great testimony to the uh, lead jerk leads that he's been using for the past year or so. So, um, you guys, if you're interested, visit www.theleadjerk.com. Again, www.theleadjerk.com. Thanks, guys.